morning everybody today I'd like to talk a little bit about sales um, we have a product here at Bluesoft it's called Celerato and it's a help desk software in the SaaS model software as a service and I'd like to share some of the things that we have learned um, in some years many of the tips that are here I uh, got from a presentation by close.io I really recommend you guys go uh, to their website and take a look at their products really nice too um, first you should try to keep your trials short so 14, 14 days uh, if you give too many days like 30 days, 6 days, 5 months um, the user is not have that feeling of urgency to try to use your software and then to get back to you so 40 days uh, no more than 2 weeks automate emails during trials so if the user is trying um, to use your software to figure out how to use it it's nice for you to uh, send him some emails so for example when he sign up send him a welcome email and then uh, two days after that you can send him an email with some tips of how to uh, use your software and then uh, five days later you can send him an email with advanced tips and when he's getting uh, close to the end of the trial you can send him an email telling him about um, that you are available to um, for example ask some questions you can uh, point a call a Skype call or something like that and then at the end of the trial you can uh, tell him that you are available um, whenever he, he needs you and uh, that you are there if he wants you to close the deal it's nice if you try to use a semi-personal style so people are kind of tired of those um, automated emails uh, that sounds really impersonal the, the, the user, the customer needs to feel that he's special that you are really um, interested in him, in his company and in helping him to solve his problems so this is important also call him after uh, 5 minutes that he started the trial even if you want just to say uh, that uh, welcome to our product I'm here to help you if you need I'm here to ask any questions that you may have here is my contact you can call me whenever you want uh, this really makes a difference and it's 70% uh, about tonality and 30% about contact and you know it's really hard for for salespeople for a sales team to deal with this kind uh, of thing because at the beginning of the day you may be very enthusiastic but then you receive some no's um, some customers let you down and then at the end of the day you may be a little bit uh, sad tired but uh, you really need to try to be uh, as enthusiastic as you were at the first call because this really makes a big difference for your customer so we really must sound like an enthusiastic expert people are also tired of those people at the other end of the line that don't know what they're selling that don't know uh, about their own product so try to really master your product um, and listen to what the customer uh, needs to what he has to say a really active uh, listening pay attention to 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 what he, he say to uh, his language and try to to get back to him uh, in a way that he feels special that he feels that you're really trying to understand uh, his problem make a quick demo like don't uh, torture the user for 40 or 50 minutes and uh, focus more on value than on features because the user has some problems the customer has have uh, has some problems and you, you need to try to help him to solve those so um, you don't need to train the user in every single feature of your software for him to start solving some problems to start seeing some value that you may offer and follow up keep talking to him and team until you get a yes or a no uh, don't be the, bore, the boring guy that calls every 10 minutes but you know try to get back to him until uh, you have your answer 
sell prepaid uh, plans and have also uh, annual deals. So many startups uh, are using this now. So uh, you get a more extended compromise uh, with your customer if he pays you for an entire year. And you may also um, give him some discounts if he, he opt for the annual plan. This is really important. So if you go to a website nowadays and there is nobody there to help you to answer some questions that you may have quickly, it's like if you enter a store and there is nobody there to help you. So it's really important to have this online chat to help to have people there to, to answer some, some quick questions and a Zoping, for example, is a good solution for that. If you don't have that in your website, I really recommend you take a look at Zoping. It's really easy and uh, you can set up right away and start using for free if you have just one agent. And stop using no reply. So it's kind of impolite to send a email if you are in a sales team to, <laughs> to a customer and then you tell him that you, he cannot reply because like you, your time is not worth it, that you, you don't need to, to hear what he has to say or she has to say. So stop using that, use your personal, um, your, your uh, email like Andre at Bluesoft, for example, so your customer can ask you questions and can really reply to you. And use a ticket system, uh, especially if you have uh, many people uh, working, many, many people uh, asking questions uh, and uh, answering questions to, to your customers. It's good to have uh, ticket systems like Accelerato, for example, is our product and there are all others uh, out there like Zendesk in the United States is a very popular one and this could really make a big difference um, for you to answer quickly to your customers. Use inbound marketing to generate leads. So uh, you should give to your customers, to your users, rich content, something of value, not just something that tries to make the point to sell your product to your customer, but also um, something of value that he can learn, that he can uh, read, and then that content makes a difference uh, to him. Here are some references, I really recommend you take a look at them. Thank you very much.